Hey guys, Jim here with another collection video for my channel. Uh, before we begin, I first of all want to say Happy New Year to each and every one of you. I hope 2024 is the best year for all of us worldwide, and I truly do mean that. Also, before we begin, if uh, you would like what you see, if you would leave a like, a possible subscription, subscribe, or if you uh, leave a comment, I would really appreciate it. So anyways, this video is just miscellaneous uh, documentaries, musicals, and some more animation that I figured I would highlight. So this is going to be a pretty quick one. Let's begin. First on the documentary list is the first edition of 30 for 30, the ESPN original films. This is the only one of the set that I have. I found this real cheap but it does, it includes 30 hour long films. And there's some really good ones on here. So if you're into sports, this is a good one. Next we have Crystal Lake Memories, The Complete History of Friday the 13th. This is a tie into a book that was written. This documentary is like eight hours long. It's incredibly immersive. It gets into every facet of every movie with interviews, behind the scenes footage. This is incredible. If you are a Friday the 13th fan, this is a great pickup and you can still get it relatively cheap. Along those same lines, this is on DVD, but you can also get this on Blu-ray. Never Sleep Again. This is the Elm Street legacy. It's a companion to the other. This is all about the Nightmare on Elm Street films. And uh, this is also an incredible documentary. It's basically four hours long, um, but it, it covers everything again. And uh, again, if, if you're into Nightmare on Elm Street, I can't recommend Never Sleep Again enough. It's, it's really great. Now for something completely different, Drunk, Stoned, Brilliant, Dead, The Story of the National Lampoon. This is one of the funniest movies I have ever seen, regardless if it's a documentary or a straight comedy. It is brilliant. If you don't know what National Lampoon is, it's a magazine that ran in the uh, 70s, and it basically launched the careers of half the people on Saturday Night Live, and it's just brilliant. This documentary is absolutely hilarious. It has a lot of interviews with the people that were involved, but more importantly, it, it runs montages of articles from the National Lampoon. And oh my God, some of this stuff is just absolutely hysterically funny. It is not politically correct, okay? If you are easily offended, do not go anywhere near this. But if you have a good sense of humor and you want a good uh, lesson about the history of some of the modern... Uh, comedy in America in the uh, late 21st century, I'm telling or 20th century, I'm telling you, I can't recommend this movie enough. It's, it's, it's great. Okay, now we have some live performances. We have, and again, this is on DVD, but you can get it on Blu-ray. The George Carlin Commemorative Collection. I absolutely love George Carlin. I grew up listening to his albums and watching his specials on HBO. And this particular set, it has them all, including some bonus stuff. And his final special, I kind of like it when a lot of people die, which is an audio CD, because he recorded that right before he died. This is a brilliant set. I love George Carlin. He, he, he was equal parts comedian, philosopher. He was just great. I love George Carlin. Okay, we have a couple of music documentaries for you now. Again, this is on DVD, but you can get it on Blu-ray, and I had to give this a special shout-out. This is Rush Beyond the Lighted Stage. Uh, I am a die-hard Rush fan. I have been a huge Rush fan since I was a 14-year-old kid. Uh, I played drums when I was a kid, and Neil Peart was a god to me and I saw them 15 times live through the years and I just I, I absolutely love Rush whether you're a fan or not 
this documentary is extremely entertaining. It, it is so much fun. So I can't recommend Beyond the Lighted Stage enough. Next we have Woodstock, Three Days of Piece of Music, the director's cut. I included this on my uh, box set video. I don't need to really go into this. Everybody knows Woodstock. Okay, and this isn't really a documentary, but it's a mockumentary and it's music related. Spinal Tap. I figured I would just throw it in there for the hell of it. Because everybody loves Spinal Tap. Okay, now we got a couple of musicals. And the Best Little Horror House in Texas with Dolly Parton and Burt Reynolds. I bought this for my wife. Uh, basically, she absolutely loves Dolly Parton. So I got this for her for Christmas a couple of years ago. and She was very happy with it. It's not my favorite movie, but it's not terrible. This, however, is my favorite musical of all time. You can call it an action movie, you can call it a comedy. To me, this is a musical. Plain and simple. And I saw the Blues Brothers when I was a kid, theatrically, because I was a huge uh, John Belushi fan. Had no idea who Aretha Franklin or James Brown or Cab Calloway or I knew their names, I didn't know their music, and I became a fan after it, just like a whole generation. Okay, now we have some animated stuff here. The Bob's Burgers movie. My wife loves Bob's Burgers, so we got this, and it's a cute movie. I like the show better, but it's a decent movie. Then we have Sausage Party. I love Sausage Party. I, I know it's a very divisive movie, but I think it's hilarious. South Park, bigger, longer, uncut. It's my second favorite musical of all time. Canadians are watching. I don't blame Canada at all. Next, we have Heavy Metal. This was another huge movie to my generation back in the day. I must have seen this theatrically at least 20 times in the midnight movies. My friends would be going to see Rocky Horror Picture Show. I'd be going to see Heavy Metal. Next, we have American Pop. I covered this on one of my uh, Five Forgotten Movie series to watch, so I won't go too much into it other than the fact that it is a really good movie and it's got some incredible music in it. And last but certainly not least, this is just an honorable mention I wanted to bring up. The Boondocks, the complete uncensored series. The Boondocks, to me, is one of the greatest TV shows of all time, animated or not. It is so good. If you haven't seen The Boondocks, do yourself a favor and check it out. You can see it on uh, HBO Max, and it's also on Adult Swim. That's where it started from, but The Boondocks is absolutely hysterical. So. So anyways, that's it for this video, guys. Again, I want to say Happy New Year to all of you, and uh, I hope to see you on the next one. And please leave a comment or a like, and I would appreciate it. Thank you, and have a great day.